Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, I hope you're enjoying the Christmas season. I hope you're enjoying the festive season. I hope that you're with your loved ones. I hope you've got the time off to enjoy, to connect with this season, to feel its magic and to just have a really, really amazing Christmas. And I really, really hope that we all have and enjoy an amazing season, an amazing Christmas time and a fantastic new year to all look forward to. Do you know what? Wow, that's what I'm going to say first things first, because I never really get the opportunity this time of the year. We are on the 23rd of December to sit here and just talk and express and enjoy and, and just feel all those great, wonderful things. Preparations for me in the Christmas season are key. Soon as summer all right, as soon as summer starts to sort of fade and finish and the town starts to fade, I am full swing into Christmas. I'm already looking at what wrapping paper would suit certain people, what bows and what ribbon to suit for different members of my family, what gifts to choose for, planning gifts. Do I go with this? Do I go with that? What suits that person? What suits that person's likes? And it takes me a very, very long time. And then when my mum, she starts exactly the same very, very early, we do it all together. And I no longer have my dear nan, but when we used to have my nan with us, um, very, very much the same, preparation key. And of course, this year, um, absolutely the Christmas season, it's been mum been planning the, 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 the meals and things over Christmas. And uh, we have a very, very... Um, very blessed to have um, an amazing sort of uh, food selection and ordering things to collect, which we collected today, all the fine meats and you can imagine as sort of Christmas get togethers and parties and, uh, and, and yeah, absolutely. It's all that amazing Christmas stuff. So a lot of preparation goes into that. And you know, I'm always, usually, I always get mine done super early, super early at the back of um, summer. I start um, because usually then I, I help my brothers and I help my dad um, with gifts and things and getting that all up together. And then usually you can guarantee somebody in my family always asks me to do something either today or Christmas Eve. <clears throat> and um, do you know, I'm usually running around in the town uh, getting something or looking for a gift or wrapping gifts. But do you know what? This Christmas season, I'll be honest, I had reservations for. This is the second Christmas about my nan. And you know what? It almost feels harder. I lost my nan on the 31st of May last year. And nan was everything. Nan was centre of Christmas. And um, everything, if I would buy a gift, I would buy mums, nans and dads first. Mums, nans, dads, or whichever way you want to uh, read it. Um, I would always start their gifts first. And I'd always buy a selection of gifts and clothes and jewellery, one thing or another. And, and just try to get their character. Christmas is not about gifts, it is about giving, and in my heart, because I've been blessed, I've worked really, really hard to be able to do that, I love to cherish and spoil my family at Christmas, and I would always do that at the top of the family, mum, dad and nan, always. Now, without my nan at Christmas, um, I lost my nan after a very long and very horrific battle with Alzheimer's, but I stood beside my nan and my mum, the opposite side of my nan, and we, we battled through that illness with her. And on the 31st of May, when she took her last breath, my world and life changed forever. It really did. The first Christmas was almost like in shock. It was almost like the Nam's going to walk back through the door. Hair sky high, back, back home like a film star. Done up, walking through, bag on arm, looking like an absolute film star. I thought my Nam was, you know, at the back of my head, I thought she's going to just come back to me. I really thought she was going to come back to me. It's strange, and of course, time goes on, and it's not any easier. In fact, some days I still find myself in tears. I really, really do. I'm going to show you this now. Hmm. Wrapping gifts, and it's all across the front of my nan's picture. Strange. And this is my dear nanny, and I, oh, I love her more, more than words can say. And um, this is the lady. Um, and you know what? Christmas very much is is always sort of centred, isn't it? Family. And then when you have someone missing at Christmas, it's hard. It really is hard. So in a way, I was I was dreading this. But do you know what? It's it's been a great season because I'm I've truly tried to concentrate on the fact that actually she's always here. My nan is a part of me. I mean, she brought my mum into the world, and my mum brought me into the world. So she's here all the time. I've tried to hold on to that. It's not always easy, but I try to hold on with that. And in, in my heart, faith means a lot to me. And 
in my eyes, my nan is up above and she's with the Lord and she's with my grandfather and my auntie Kim and my uncle Malcolm. And and that's what I try and hold on to. And, she, and there's so much of her always around, especially this season. Everything reminds me and all the memories of Christmas and how she used to do things and host and give and give and give. And Nana always used to give to charity so very much, so close to her heart. And um, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, it really, um, really difficult. But this season has been magical. It really has been. So at the start of the, at the start of the season, Nana's in everything. She's present in everything um, and still and always will be. And, um, love you, Nanny. <laughs> and, um, at the start of the season, we done ice skating, which I absolutely love, which was huge to think that I could even do it after my surgery. I had my groin reconstructed last year after a long history of all sorts of hernia problems in one thing or another. So it was amazing to be able to do that. I've done that with my niece and my sister and all my brother. And my other brother and my mum watched, which was just amazing. It really, really was lovely. So that's very dear to my heart and such an amazing time this season as well. All the Christmas shopping. I was very blessed to be able to do this all with mum. And me and my mum were best friends. We really, really are. And with my nan, it was always very much like I was always blessed to be in the presence of those two wonderful, wonderful ladies. Working with my dad on Christmas gifts and things this year for my mum and for other Christmas preparations. My dad is my best friend as well. Absolutely love spending time doing that and picking out amazing gifts ready for that <gasps> on Christmas Day. Um, so lovely. That's been really, really magical too. And then this year, the last couple of months, I've reconnected with a very, very good friend of mine from school. He's so, so, so funny. It's been so cool to match up, uh, to sort of catch up with him. And that's been really, really great. I, I'm... I know of his family as well, so my, my mum and myself have uh, seen his mum and uh, his aunt and his nan in town, and we all are aware and know each other, so it was really lovely to catch up. Um, so it, that's been really, really great, and I've caught up with him a couple of times, we've gone for a drink in one thing or another, and it's been really, really cool to really, really connect, and um, and it's been really, really great, really has been great. So I would always say, if someone's down in the dumps, there's nothing like a good friend to be able to make you laugh, to make you sort of remember old times and really, really find the, the light in a very dark time sometimes, or in stress or in one thing or another. So that's been really, really cool. Um, moving forward, lots more Christmas shopping, that's been really, really great. I've I've done a lot. We've been out for different meals and things this Christmas season, which I never really get time to do. And I love it's one of my favorite things to do. My hard work has really, really paid off this season, too. I've got a promotion. Actually, I was just told on this Monday, which is just gone. I had the official call. Um, so I'm moving up in the world. And three months ago, only three short months ago, I had a promotion and I've applied for a job. And I thought, well, I get it. Is it too early? But I felt that it was the right thing. I applied for it. And you know what? I absolutely got it. So I'm really, really proud that that happened as well. I've also caught up with other friends this year, um, this year, sorry, this last couple of months. One of my very, very dear friends, uh, Debs, who I used to work with, um, loved catching up with her. It's been really, really great catching up with her. And one thing and another, and it's just been really, really, really great to laugh and to, to joke with. Family is very, very important, but friends are just shortly behind, and it's really amazing to reconnect with people as well. Um, and, it, and it's really nice that these people um, are very much on the same page as me. So what is important to us and what's important to them. Um, it, it's great to be able to relate and have that connection as well. And at the Christmas season, it just seems to mirror it so amazingly. And I love that. So that's been really, really great too. Moving forward, of course, coming closer to the Christmas season, we've had celebrations. We went out for doing things for my interview, which is great. Christmas shopping after Christmas shopping. I've gone out for lunch several times with my twin brother and helped him, Cameron, with his Christmas gifts. And I've had my little niece, Sienna, who I love and adore. Um, I love spending time with my other niece, Lacey, and my nephew, uh, Reese. And family is so, so much to me. I've caught up with my grandparents and Wells, my father's and parents too, which has been really, really lovely too. Loads and loads going on, so as you can tell. And then today, Today, I had the time. We've done the final Christmas shop, the food preparations and the drinks and all the festivities and things. And that's been lovely. Done some singing. absolutely love singing, especially I'll be home for Christmas. Love that song this season as well. And oh, what's it called? What's it called? Mary, did you know? I love that song as well. That's been amazing. And today, to finish things off on the 23rd, the Christmas wrapping was finished, um, when was it? Not yesterday, the day before, very, very late hours. No, in fact, actually, early hours this morning, I think. So that's been really, really great to get that done. And today, I was baking with my brother and my sister-in-law and my niece, Lace, which has been lovely. We've made pumpkin pie, we've made cupcakes for Christmas and one thing or another, and it's really, really nice. And then tomorrow, my brother and my sister-in-law are hosting Christmas Eve, and we all come together. And um, yeah, hopefully have some fun, dress up, 
some may say I dress up a little bit too much, but it's really cool to be able to do that this year. I've got a blue velvet jacket, which I treated myself to, so that should be really, really cool. Mum dresses up, brothers, and we all have just a really good time. And um, if not, just put a Christmas jumper on and, and make merry and, and, yeah, have a really great time. So that would be really cool tomorrow. And um, then, of course, that sets the way for an amazing Christmas day and that amazing 12 days of Christmas, which I enjoy every single one of them. What's your Christmas season been? I know Christmas is so different to everybody, and I, I don't need anybody to tell me on my channel that I don't want to put this across as that, why is he going on and on like this? Because this is my channel. This is my virtual kind of diary, me talking out loud. I've had a really tough couple of years. Christmas is so important and so magical to me. I want to share with my channel everything in my life, to be quite honest with you. There's nothing off limits. And it's really, really great to be able to relay this, to have the time to sit and just to, and just breathe, take a glass of something nice, enjoy those Christmas films. By the way, I love Channel 5 Christmas films. Put on the festive pajamas, really connect, have that great time with friends, that great time with family. And yeah, it's really, really, really cool. It really, really is. Um, family is so, so important, but Christmas so amazingly frames that sort of beautiful essence that actually the most important thing in this world and the, probably the one most consistent is actually family. They will always be there. And if you're someone who often never takes the time to tell someone that you love them or or never express how much somebody in your life means to you, Christmas is an amazing time to be able to do that and to show them. It doesn't have to be through expensive or lavish get-togethers or lavish gifts. It doesn't have to break the bank. It can literally be something small or a gesture. Just making somebody smile at Christmas can really make somebody's Christmas season. This life is tough. It is difficult. I go on about that very often. Some people are unlucky in life. Some people are blessed. This Christmas season, I've said it quite a lot, but Let's try to open our hearts that little bit extra. If you're a good person, great. If you're a person who is sometimes a little bit short with people, a little bit sort of one-sided, or perhaps is quite wrapped up in where they want to be in life, fantastic. I'm so pleased you know where you're going in this life. But Christmas happens but once a year, and none of us are blessed with a tomorrow. None of us know what next year will bring, but we all hope that we all stay happy and healthy and well, and that the family we share around our Christmas tables this year will be the same with us a year after. I never knew and never thought in a million years that I would have lost my nan on the 31st of May 2021. It broke my heart, and it still does. If I could have her back, I would. Every single day. There's not a moment goes by I don't miss her. Nobody knows what's going to happen, and I lost her very, very tragically. She may have had Alzheimer's, but I didn't expect the way and how she went that I would have lost her out of this world that way. We hear so many dreadful things in this life. I never understand how people can be short with people, how people can be mean, how they can be hurtful, how they can say nasty things. So Christmas really is a time to extend a gesture, to smile, to spread good cheer and merriment. And you know what? Sometimes even just to say, Merry Christmas, that old traditional saying brings so much of a smile, so much cheer to people. The nasty things we hear in this world, this Christmas, and moving forward into the new year. Let's promise ourselves that we'll be kinder to our feelings and our mental health, because often we are hard on ourselves, striving for perfection in this life, especially when you're in your late teens, 20s and 30s. People are generally hard on themselves when you're raising a family, when you're looking at buying a house with financial repercussions and financial constraints in this world, only getting more and more expensive to live in in the Western world and other extending places. Sometimes we've just got to enjoy the right here and now. Because, do you know what? Today will pass and we'll never ever get it back. Did you enjoy it? Did you enjoy the right now? There's a saying which I love. Sometimes take a time to stop and smell the roses. They're actually quite beautiful. And do you know what? Sometimes just the most simplest of things this season, like the string lights glowing or the Christmas tree standing there in all its glory. Sometimes just something as beautiful as sitting around, having a conversation with a loved one, with a drink of something, with a carol going on, or singing yourself, or spending time with family and friends, watching a Christmas film, those small things, which are huge at this time of year, mean so very much, and create magical memories. Why not? Don't just tuck yourself away and think, I've got so much wrapping to do, or I need to get this piece of work done. This time will come and go. 
Unfortunately, whether you've enjoyed it or not, be sure to have enjoyed it. Be sure to embrace it. Now, I know that Christmas time is hard for people. I know that in my own family. We lost my grandfather on the 16th of December. But however, my nan was persistent and assured that Christmas had to go on. Christmas had to be celebrated and we had to do it for him. And we hold him here, right in our heart. And if you've lost anybody in this world, they're right here. Close your eyes and they're right there. That's what one of my good friends of my twin brother said. And I take that on board. Whenever I feel stressed or strained or in tears, you could say, where well, it's broke my heart so often. I close my eyes, I pray to the Lord above, and I think of my man. And it gets me through. But let's be supportive. Let's open our hearts a bit extra. So if we know that somebody's struggling this Christmas, go out of your way a little bit more. Make sure that they're okay. Or at least ask them and touch base with them. Talk to them. Be there for them. And if you can, and if you can help, why enough wouldn't you want to? Christmas is truly a magical time. Magic happens. You know what my niece only said to me earlier? There's no such thing as Santa. I said, ah, my dear niece, there may not be one Santa, but there certainly is Christmas magic. And that, my girl, I said, Christmas magic will always be there. And I would tell that to any child or any adult that the true meaning of Christmas is right here in your heart, around your family and friends, okay? But the magic of Christmas, you feel it. You do genuinely feel it, I feel. And then when you've had Christmas and you've had the new year and you look around, it almost feels like it's empty. And that's because the Christmas magic is gone. But you know, quoted from my favourite Christmas film, miracles happen every day. Christmas is such a special, wonderful time. And some people, if they don't like it, that's absolutely okay. There are reasons. But why don't we, let's grab this season together. Let's enjoy this Christmas season. And whatever lies ahead in the new year, let's not worry about it right now. Or well, let's enjoy the life we live today. Let's enjoy this Christmas season today. And hold those so close and so dear and so cherished to us even closer this Christmas. God bless. Take great, great care, my friends. Thank you very, very much for joining me. And there'll be one more clip to come and that'll be my Christmas Eve closed down. But until then, God bless. Take great care. Enjoy this wonderful evening and I'll be seeing you real soon. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. And I'll be seeing you real soon. Bye now.